welcome to my house in Nashville. Come on in, I'll give you a little tour. Actress Melissa Joan Hart rose to fame off the back of her 90s Nickelodeon sitcom Clarissa Explains It All. Afterwards, she became even more well known for her portrayal of Sabrina the Teenage Witch on the television series of the same name that produced 163 episodes in total. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. I mean, even me, I was a major fan of that one. And while Melissa is best best known for these iconic 90s characters, her most important role these days is as a mother to her three sons and a partner to her husband Mark Wilkerson, the lead singer and guitarist of the rock band Course of Nature. For a number of years, this happy family has split their time between two main addresses, one in Connecticut and another in California. For the most part, Melissa has been pretty quiet about her home that's located out east. But what I can tell you about it is that it's extremely extremely traditional. When discussing this home in the past, Melissa has played coy in terms of its exact location, but has revealed that it's situated in a town that has a lot of farmland and open space. She also once explained to Architectural Digest that the majority of the home was painted white by her friend Lonnie Paul, who designed the interior of the home. In fact, Melissa was so pleased with the job, she then hired Lonnie to decorate the interior of her Los Angeles home, located in the neighborhood of Studio City and situated right across the street from where she's occasionally worked in the past at CBS Studios. Unlike her home out east, there's a lot more to discover about Melissa's longtime property in LA. With her friend's help, Melissa transformed the inside of this modern cottage with colors of light blue, white, and gray. In fact, Lonnie once described their inspiration for the interior to pop sugar like this. It was supposed to be a cool little California bungalow. The place has a little history being across from the studio and having had different stars live in it. We made it more modern and fresh and bright. In other words, the design choices resulted in big, clean open spaces, like downstairs in the kitchen with countertops made out of white marble, tile backsplash, custom design cabinets, and a lovely little table with bench style seating. Meanwhile, over in the nearby living room are a series of modern looking great chairs that flank a stunning central fireplace. There are also custom design drapes that hide a series of sliding doors which open to the lush backyard. There's even a gigantic portrait of Melissa composed entirely out of Legos hanging in a spot of honor in the middle of the room. A moving on upstairs is where the home's bedrooms are all located and Melissa opted to go with a playful sense of color to unite her son's two rooms with the bathroom that sits between them. The green bedroom was decorated for Melissa's oldest son while her two youngest share the blue bedroom on the opposite side. As for the master suite, it's centered around yet another stunning full height fireplace and boasts a palette of sophisticated neutral tones. And look Located just two steps across from the hall, from there is a master bath with a massive glass shower outfitted with multiple shower heads. Circling back to Melissa's exterior, it might be small outside, but it's been decorated with a charming set of bistro chairs and a table from Pier 1. I mean, it's not a gigantic home by any means, but it's still pretty nice, isn't it? The problem is that when you split your time between multiple properties, you're far more inclined to get tired of living in just one of them. And eventually, that's what happened to Melissa and her family. So in 2019, they decided to pack up and move from LA to Lake Tahoe. Before deciding to turn her Lake Tahoe, California house into a permanent residence, the property originally acted as the family's vacation house for a number of years. When asked what it was about this area that attracted Melissa and her family to live here full time, she explained to Architectural Digest, we're not beach people, we're definitely mountain people. We love being in the fresh air with the stars. And I can tell you this, she sure wasn't kidding about those views, they're spectacular. Melissa and Mark originally bought this property back in 2006 and have slowly been developing it ever since since. First, they started with the kitchen before moving on to the rest of the house, painting and putting up wood paneling everywhere they went. In fact, Melissa's Tahoe home is more or less the opposite of her LA home in that there's apparently wood everywhere. Wood railings, wood staircases, and a whole bunch more that surrounds the property's central stone fireplace.
fireplace. Melissa's described this home as more like a chalet or a Scandinavian style abode that's been built on the side of a mountain. The upstairs is said to boast massive 30 foot ceilings and there are 25 foot decks positioned all around the exterior of the property. Other interior design choices of interest include an antler chandelier, sconces, and a whole bunch of bear themed decor that Melissa says she wouldn't dare place in a more traditional home. And I can see why. But unfortunately, she's just never shared much of this space with her fans. What's more is Melissa's little experiment to live full time in Lake Tahoe didn't last all that long. Less than two years later, she and her family realized that the fit just wasn't working and decided to buy a brand new home in Nashville, Tennessee. As the world settled into lockdown throughout the course of 2020, Melissa and her family decided they needed to get away from the hustle and the bustle of California. So they relocated to Nashville, where they moved into a home that was very much unlike any of their former properties. Let's kick things off with the home's courtyard. Set behind an intricately designed iron gate, this cute little section of Melissa's home even includes an eye-catching fountain in the middle of it. Melissa and Mark originally fell in love with the property thanks to its unique mix of details, like its church lights and doors contrasted against more modern light fixtures. But if we're talking about unique, then what we really need to start with is Melissa's one-of-a-kind living room. The bones of this massive open space have been constructed out of pillars from India and a roof barn that was imported from the state of Alabama. Not to mention a multi-layered chandelier that as big as it is, and it's big, looks relatively tiny in regards to the grandeur of the whole room itself. A short walk from the living room takes you to the kitchen table where the family enjoys the majority of their meals around a circular table with another low hanging light wrapped in a piece of dripped wood. When you're finally ready to transition from the main floor to the top, you'll have to go through the home's mammoth central staircase. Designed by a man named Brandon White, the wood that composes the majority of the staircase has been painted in alternating shades of white and gray, as well as boasts rustic detailing that incorporates both rug and tile all in one. Elsewhere in Melissa's home office space is where she likes to keep the bulk of her film and TV memorabilia, including movie posters and a Sabrina the Teenage Witch ad that used to drive around the city streets on the side of a bus, but now it hangs just above Melissa's window. After moving in, one of the couple's most important quarantine projects was to create a room for their kids that would make them the envy of their friends. Something that Melissa and Mark managed to pull off by going to Home Depot, grabbing a bunch of wood and constructing a treehouse like loft with LED lights and glow in the dark stars for their son Tucker. Also located on the second floor just above the living room is what Melissa has taken into calling her library. A stretch of wall so big that it doesn't just contain all of the family's books, it also holds a whole bunch of mementos celebrating their fondest memories. Meanwhile, back down on the main floor, just past the spot that Melissa likes to refer to as her Picasso gallery, where she's hung some of her favorite works from one of the world's most famous artists, is her master bedroom. Not only does this space contain an elegant king size bed, along with some epic French doors that lead out towards the backyard, it's also where Melissa keeps her treasure chest. A cubby which contains some of her most prized jewelry and her most heartfelt childhood memories, including her grandmother's music box. And just around the corner from there is Melissa's walk-in closet that she keeps as neat as possible. As enticing as Melissa's entire home appears to be, the one room with the most energy is her downstairs powder room that she likes to refer to as her pink bathroom, something that comes across like a mixture of country and punk. According to Melissa, her family inherited the bathroom looking that way and decided not to mess with the vibe. But when it came time to construct a room that was wholly her own, Melissa called dibs on the dining room. What makes this place so special to Melissa is that as someone who lives with four boys, this is the one space in the house where she gets to be her most girly self. That being said, as much as she likes the dining room, Melissa doesn't care to spend all that much time in the kitchen, and she lets Mark take care of most of the cooking. Melissa doesn't 
mind being on cleanup duty though, and for that they installed a golden sink and made sure there was a lot of countertop space to work with. Last but not least, we've arrived at Melissa's backyard, a space where Melissa and her family spend a lot of their free time. Believe it or not, but this is actually the first time that Melissa's kids have ever lived in a house with a pool. Now that we've seen Melissa's brand new Nashville home, I think the question becomes, how long will she and her family actually live here? Based upon their multiple properties and how often they move from one to the next, it's hard to say. One thing's for sure, the couple does have some stunning options. All right, everyone, that'll bring this latest house tour to a close. But before you leave, consider answering the following question. Given the opportunity, how often would you uproot your family and move from one house to the next if money was never a concern? Let me know if you'd put down roots in just one home or live in as many as possible in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another tour. Bye.